There you AJ, go. Happy to be here. Hello, everybody. I'm excited. <laughs> that we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics. There you go. And I tell you, Scott, I cannot think of a more time. Well, in ever since Carol Joy and I have been investing in real estate here in Eastern North Carolina, I cannot think of a time where using um, our foreclosure system is more timely. And of course that's because of, you know, we've been into COVID now for over a year and foreclosures are getting ready to open up. So what better time for real estate investors or those that want to get into the business to prepare themselves in order to um, take advantage of this opportunity that's getting ready to open up to help a lot of people out of financial distress and make a lot of money while doing it at the same time. Right. Well, and there's a lot of people who are, they haven't been paying their mortgage or they haven't been paying their rent for a long time. And it just seems like they keep pushing. It's like there's a big problem and nobody wants to deal with it. They keep saying it, it's going to be extended till the 31st, to the 30th, to the next 31st. Uh, but there's going to come a point where they can't do that anymore. Yeah, exactly. So um, my, pred my prediction, well, first of all, before I give my prediction, uh, there's, there's two categories of foreclosures uh, because of COVID. Uh, the first category is all those people, which was a good number um, that were the foreclosure process had already started before mm -hmm. COVID came along in March, 2020. And so COVID comes along and now those, those foreclosures that were in the process uh, were put on pause and, you know, just the, the whole foreclosure process stopped. And then since COVID, all the millions of people that, uh, that lost their jobs, um, they have stopped paying their mortgage payments as well because of COVID. So COVID has created this whole new great big category of people that have gone into foreclosure that ordinarily would not. So it's important for everybody to understand those are the two categories. Now to the prediction, I believe it's going to be in a very, very few short months before we really start to see what we call foreclosures opening up the process, opening up to where, as I said, we're going to have an opportunity to serve a whole lot of people. So, uh, you know, my prediction here is it's probably going to be opening up within the next 90 for sure, uh, 90 days to six months for sure. Right. So that would take us just before Christmas. Correct. Correct. And 